bomber can slip past radar, but scientists may have another use for wing planes that could speed more travelers to their destination sooner. CNN's Don Knapp reports that could change the plane-looking airplane into something that's single-winged and super sonic. It goes. There's not much to this model plane, just a wing and some fins. And if you look closely, you can see that it flies cockeyed, with one wingtip well ahead of the other. Designer R.T. Jones says it's the look of the future. For landing and takeoff, you'd like to have the wing straight. But for a high speed, like say twice current jet speed, uh, it needs to be turned at an angle of about 60 degrees. Jones knows a thing or two about airplanes. His work in theoretical aerodynamics in the 40s led to swept back wings like those found on fighter planes that make supersonic flight possible. This wing, he says, will make supersonic flight more efficient. Model pilot Steve Morris did his doctoral thesis at Stanford on computer control of Jones' oblique flying wing. The model is inherently stable so that we can fly it just using simple radio control. But the full-size airplane, many of its advantages are because it's inherently unstable. That allows us to use an efficient shape for the airfoil of the wing. And then the computer stabilizes the airplane so that the pilot can easily fly it. The oblique wing has turned up in a number of NASA designs over the past 20 years, always with an airplane body. But fans of the oblique wing say the most efficient design is a bodiless wing that's capable of turning in flight to get out of the way of its own supersonic shock wave. NASA says the wing could be developed to become a supersonic transport, able to fly more people faster and cheaper than the Concorde. Advocates for the development of the oblique all-wing aircraft say that one of the biggest obstacles they have to overcome is the fact the airplane looks so funny. It just doesn't look the way people think an airplane ought to look. Even the exotic-looking B-2 bomber's all-wing design has a certain acceptable symmetry. People are really hung up on bilateral symmetry, right? And here they have to, have to abandon it. Nor will it be easy to fly the asymmetrical airplane. Turning one direction requires an entirely different control arrangement than turning the other. But the would-be developers say computers could easily handle such complexities. If NASA gets the money to prove the concept, the next job will be to convince the aircraft industry to invest $20 billion or so to build it. Don Knapp, CNN, Mountain View, California.